Hi, English students. Uh, today, we're going to talk about this book, Lesson 8, okay? So, Worldly Wise, Book 5, Lesson 8, okay? So, please get your book. Uh, we are going to talk about these words uh, a little bit, and hopefully you can learn how to say them and use them, okay? So, uh, first, say these words nice and loud, please, okay? So, assemble, assemble, banquet, banquet. Cargo, cargo, cask, cask, celebrate, celebrate, decrease, okay, decrease, and desperate, desperate, edible, edible, frivolous, frivolous. Harvest. Okay, make sure you have the V. Harvest. Harvest. Hue. Hue. Hostile. Hostile. Okay, three more. Pledge. Pledge. Prosper. Prosper. And task. Task. Okay? Okay, one more time, really loud, okay? So make sure you say them the same as me. Assemble, banquet, cargo, cask, celebrate, decrease, desperate, edible, frivolous, harvest, hue, hostile, okay. pledge, prosper, and task. Okay, so... Uh, that's one part of the job. Make sure that you can say these words. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about them. Okay? So the first word is assemble. Assemble. So assemble. Uh, assemble means you put together. Okay? You put this together, 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 together. So one of the easiest things is you'll assemble uh, furniture. Okay. Assemble the table. Assemble the bookshelf. You can assemble your bed, okay? Maybe you buy a bed, um, and it all comes in a big box, and you open the box, and then you have to put it together. Turn, 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 like this, okay? So this is called assembling the bed. It took me, it took me one hour to assemble my bed, okay? So sometimes we say take, okay? Take with time. Uh, it took her six hours to assemble the shelf maybe very slow okay so this is assemble now we'll often we will have it past tense to assembled okay now a second meaning for assemble is that you just come together come together so maybe a family will go to the shopping mall and uh the dad will go to the bookstore okay uh maybe the kids will go to the toy store and maybe the mom will go to the Mm, clothing store okay but before before everyone goes everywhere they'll say okay we will assemble here we'll assemble here in one hour like this okay uh, <coughs> so you say assembled so later you say they assembled at the front door or they assembled at the restaurant okay one hour later okay so assembled means they, they come together so this is assemble. Now assembly, assembly, I should have put that here. Assembly, uh, this is usually in your school, okay? Where all the classes come together, okay? So we'll say the teacher talked at the assembly. What is the assembly? When all of the students assemble, okay? When all the students come together, okay? Good. So, yep, so you have to be careful. There's a verb and a noun, okay? Assemble, assembly. Assembly, okay? Um, you can also talk about the assembly of a car, like a factory. The factory will assemble the cars, put the seats in, put the body on, put the headlights in, put the steering wheel. They assemble the car. The car's assembly takes 10 minutes. Yeah, it's a very fast factory, okay? So assemble, verb, assembly, noun, okay? Putting things together including students, okay? This word, banquet, banquet. So banquet is a big meal, okay? Um, similar to the word feast. 
Okay. Now feast. Okay, it's a big meal. Uh, a feast sometimes is usually more of a uh, like on a holiday or something like that. You'll have a big feast. Thanksgiving Day feast, okay, or Christmas feast, or the king will have a feast all the time. Uh, a banquet is also a big meal, okay, uh, uh, but maybe not for special occasions. Just have a banquet, okay. Um, sometimes a wedding will be at a banquet hall. Okay, this is a place where you have the wedding and you go and eat. Okay, so the banquet hall, the wedding finishes at the church and then you go to the banquet hall. Okay, so this is a noun and this is a noun. You can use this as a verb. Okay, this you cannot. So if you want to learn this word, look in a dictionary. Okay, so banquet, a big meal. Okay, cargo, cargo, uh, cargo is this moving stuff for the store. Okay, so this computer. Uh, was made in China, but I bought it in Canada. So how did it get here? It came on a boat. Okay. Now this boat is not a fun boat. Okay. This boat is moving stuff, moving stuff all over the world. Okay. So this is called a cargo boat or cargo ship. Now the book says cargo ship and cargo plane, but you can also have a cargo train as well. Okay. Moving stuff. So maybe if there's um. Uh, something in Canada, maybe they'll cut down the trees, okay? They'll cut down like a million trees, and somebody in Japan bought them, okay? How do the trees go from Canada to Japan, okay? They'll go on a cargo boat, cargo boat, okay? So this is called cargo. It's moving stuff, and that stuff will be uh, for sale, okay? Okay, the next word is cask, cask, okay? Cask means like a barrel. Barrel, okay, like a big bucket with a lid on the top and the bottom. Okay, this is called a barrel, and so you can have a barrel of of uh, wine. Okay, a barrel of beer. But you can have a barrel of, of of apples too. Okay, so there's some in stories. Um, this is called a barrel. Barrel. Okay, but you can also call it a cask, a cask of wine, a cask of uh, of a, of any liquid, even water. Okay, maybe a, a castle. We'll have many casks with water in it for the for the winter time or something like that. Okay, so a cask. It's a, just a big container. Celebrate. Celebrate is a verb. Okay, so celebrate means basically you have a big party. Woohoo! Okay, so if a war finished, maybe you will celebrate. Or if it's your country's birthday, so Canada's birthday is July first. So we'll say we celebrate. We celebrate Canada's birthday. So who does it? We. We celebrate what? Canada's birthday. We celebrate Canada's birthday on July 1st. Okay? So we'll say on. And then the holiday, okay? So Americans. Americans celebrate America's birthday on July 4th. So Canada's early by three days, okay? But the American... Is it, America is an older country than Canada. So, anyways, celebrate is a verb, okay? You can also celebrate other things too. So, if you finish high school, so we celebrated graduation, okay? Finishing high school. Um, so, celebrate many things, okay? Celebrate the new year. Have a big party. Celebration, noun. The celebration was noisy, okay? The celebration was noisy, so a noun. Now, celebrated is a little bit different meaning, okay? This celebrated does not mean uh, uh, like I have a, a big party. This one means a little bit like famous. Famous or everybody knows it, okay? Well known, okay? So say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a celebrated athlete, okay? Basketball player. Um, well known, or famous, okay? J.K. Rowling's is a celebrated author, okay? She wrote the Harry Potter books, okay? So celebrated just means lots of people know these people, okay? Bill Gates is a celebrated person, okay? Technology person. It means that most people know him, okay? So celebrated. It's quite different, okay? So be careful. The adjective, celebrated. Decrease. Don't, don't. Okay, so maybe on Halloween, Halloween, I go get some candy, okay, and I have this much candy, and then a couple days later, it's this much, and a couple days, and a couple days, and a couple days, and 10 days later, 
no candy. So we say my candy decreased. Mm. But my weight increased. Okay. So the opposite is increase. Decrease. Smaller, smaller. And increase. Increase. Okay. Bigger, bigger. Okay. Now it's almost Christmas time here. So the sunlight. The sunlight is getting shorter and shorter. So we'll say the sunlight is decreasing. Decreasing. Okay. I hope the scores on your test are increasing. I hope the mistakes on your test will decrease, are decreasing, okay? So I hope every test, your mistakes are decreasing. Okay, so more, 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 up, down, less, less, less. Decrease means less. But you should also know this word. Okay, and then you can also be a noun, okay? So the decrease. Often we'll say the decrease, uh, maybe... Something is getting cheaper. So say the decrease in price. Okay. So maybe computers. Computers are much better now and cheaper. Okay. So we'll see the decrease in computer prices. So you can put a word there. The decrease in computer prices. Or maybe apples in the summertime. Apples are very cheap. The decrease in apple prices. Make people happy. Okay. So the decrease or the increase, oh, the increase in food prices makes people angry. Okay, so increase, decrease. Okay, so when you talk about price, it means less money if you say decrease. Desperate, desperate. The root is this word, despair. Okay, despair can be a verb and a noun, uh, and it means no hope. Having no hope. Oh, we're all going to die. <laughs> Daryl despaired. Okay. So Daryl was filled with despair. Okay. It just means no hope. Now, if you're desperate, it means you have no hope. Okay. So if you haven't eaten food in five days and you can't find it, then you're desperate. Okay. Now, we do use this word a lot, a little bit. Uh, exaggerate okay so exaggerate so maybe your favorite rock and roll band is coming coming to your country and uh, tickets you can't find any tickets and you phone 10 people and nobody has tickets and why why can't I find the tickets I'm so desperate it's a little bit uh, there's still hope but you know we say he's desperate or she's desperate okay so it's an adjective desperate person has no hope Edible. Edible means you can eat something. Okay, this paper. I guess it's edible. You can eat it and you won't die, but it'll be a bad idea. Okay. Sometimes on a cake, sometimes on a cake, they'll have like flowers. They'll have flowers. Okay. And if it's made with sugar, it's edible. Sometimes on other cakes, they'll put a flower on there and it's a real flower. That's not edible. Okay, so you're not able to eat it, okay? It's not good for your body. This is about being edible or not not uh, edible, okay? Now, oh, I should say, the opposite of edible is inedible. Okay, so you have to put an in in there, okay? So we'll say, ugh, Daryl's uh, eggs are inedible. Maybe I cooked eggs, but they taste bad, okay? Taste like wood. <laughs> we'll say Daryl's food is inedible. Okay, edible. In this, inedible means you can't eat it. It's really bad food. If you say edible, it doesn't mean delicious though. This just means you can eat it. Okay, so inedible, it just means bad food. Can't eat it. Okay. Next is frivolous. Frivolous. Frivolous means a little bit like uh, useless. Something that you don't need or something that's um, Extra, extra, and not, not something that uh, that will help or, or something like that. Okay. So, uh, for example, like if I say something is, is frivolous, it just means that um, uh, um, it, it won't be needed. Okay. Uh, now, another meaning for frivolous would be uh, silly. Okay. So, if you say he's very uh, a silly person, like maybe always joking, like this, like this. He's very frivolous. Okay. Now, if someone has no food, if someone has no food and they're 
kind of poor person, but they're always buying comic books. Before food, uh, we'll say this is a very frivolous habit. Okay, It's silly, but also it's totally not needed. You should buy food, not comic books. Okay, So we'll say this habit is a very frivolous one. He has a frivolous habit, or he has many frivolous habits. Okay, so it's more than just silly; it's just not needed. Okay, um, it's hurting; it's hurting, hurting the person. Okay, okay, and so this is frivolous, and this is frivolity. So frivolous frivolity. Okay, frivolity. Um, again, this is something not needed, but sometimes it just means like a lot of fun too. Okay, just silliness, craziness. Okay. So if you go to school, not on Halloween, but you're dressed like a clown, why? You want people to laugh? We'll say that's a bit of frivolity, okay? Okay, harvest. Harvest, okay? It's a noun and a verb. Harvest is when the farmers cut all the plants, okay? Um, or maybe dig the potatoes or pick all the apples, okay? So um, harvest can have a couple meanings as a verb. We harvested the corn. Here, it means you cut it down and then you brought it in, okay? It's not outside anymore, okay? Maybe you'll get ready for the cows. Um, we harvested the corn. This is a verb. Um, um, yeah, but the noun, sorry, the noun can be this year's corn harvest is da 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 okay? So we harvested the corn in three days. It's the verb. This year's corn harvest Sorry, bad English teacher. I should have an apostrophe. This year's corn harvest is good. Okay, it means there'll be lots of corn. Lots of corn, okay? Hue. Hue is a verb. I like this word. Hue. Hue the tree. Maybe cut the branches off the tree. Maybe even cut the tree down, okay? Um, hue the wood. Maybe if you want to make a boat, okay? You get a big piece of wood and then you cut, 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 and you're hewing the wood, okay? Hewing the wood. So you're cutting wood. You need like an axe or something like that. Okay, so there's four more words. Um, this one is hostile. Hostile and hostility. Hostile, hostility is the noun, okay? Hostile means like they'll have a bad reaction or angry or that kind of stuff, okay? So if you say that is a hostile country, it means maybe there's going to be a war. Maybe you're going to fight against each other. Okay. If someone has a hostile reaction, is like, um, hey, can I borrow your car? My car? No. We'll say, <laughs> we'll say Daryl had a hostile reaction. Okay. So it means like, like immediately in my face, you can see that I don't like that idea. My car? No. <laughs> you cannot borrow my car. Yeah, you can. I don't care. <laughs> My car, I don't use it very much. Anyways, this is hostility. Daryl's hostility towards somebody, okay? Uh, this is the noun. I have hostility towards tomatoes. I'm not, I don't love tomatoes very much, okay? Now, pledge. Pledge means promise, okay? Pledge. So, just like you say, I promise to something, you say, I pledge to, or we pledge. Now, I put a D there. It's a little bit ugly. But we pledge to clean up the school. I promise. I promise I'll clean up the school. Daryl pledged to clean up the school. Okay, so often with the word to and a verb here. Uh, she pledged to eat all her dinner. Okay. Uh, 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 they pledged to help with my math homework. Promised. Okay. And it's also a noun. He broke his pledge. This means that you don't don't keep it, okay? So we say break a pledge. Break a pledge means that you don't do it. Break a promise, okay? Same thing. Now the opposite. What is the opposite of breaking a pledge? Breaking a pledge means you don't you say something and then you don't do it. But if you actually do it, you will keep the pledge. Okay? So break a pledge and keep the pledge. That's a K, okay? Keep a pledge. Good. Two more. Prosper. Prosper is a verb. Okay. So we say they prospered or he prospered. 
Um, it, here, here the meaning is made lots of money, okay? Very successful, very successful. So we'll say uh, the man moved, the man moved from China to Canada and he prospered, okay? It means that he made lots of money, okay? You can also use this for a country. So we'll say Taiwan. Taiwan prospered in the 1990s, okay? Or uh, uh, we'll say like um, uh, the, the UAE, okay, is prospering now, okay? So it means that they, they have lots of money, okay? They have tall buildings and all that kind of stuff, like Dubai, okay? So the Dubai is prospering. Dubai is a, a prosperous city. Prosperous city, an adjective, okay? So prosper, he prospered. Uh, uh, we'll say that country is prosperous. And prosperity, okay, be careful with the pronunciation here. Prosperity. Prosperity means that you're rich, okay? So uh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates thanked America for his prosperity. Prosperity, okay? For him getting lots of money. Good. Last word. I wanted to do 20 minutes, but it'll be 22. Task. Task. Okay? Task is like, uh, it can either mean like a chore or a responsibility. Okay, so it has this meaning of like a small job. Okay, this job that you have to do. Um, so here we say um, a chore. Sorry, chore, cleaning the house and that kind of stuff is a task. Um, or if I tell you, Go to the neighbor's house, please get some milk, okay? This is also a task. It's some sort of small job or responsibility. So here, I tasked him with, here's a verb, okay? It's a noun, I didn't like my task. And a verb, I tasked him with the responsibility to get the milk, okay? It means I gave him the responsibility. I tasked him with, okay? Now, this is often said this way, too. He was tasked with the responsibility to get the milk. He was tasked by me. Okay? This I is the me here, and the he is the him here. Okay? I tasked him with an important job. He was tasked by me with an important job. Okay? So here's task. task. Okay, okay. We're, we're okay for time. Uh, if you need any help with these words, please let me know, okay? You can talk to me in the comment box. Uh, if you need to check your sentences, you can also do that in the comment box. Bye-bye.